Thank you very much for watching this presentation. My name's uh, Steve Gaskin. I had the privilege of being a Metropolitan Police Officer uh, for 25 years. And um, when I retired, I went back into the classroom and uh, I retrained as a secondary school maths teacher. And for the past eight years, I've been creating crime scene investigation experiences and other science lessons, uh, which we sell directly into schools. This presentation lasts for 15 minutes, no longer than that. I know you're all busy teachers, uh, you have very little time, but I really urge you to watch all 15 minutes of this because uh, there's something for everyone uh, within these slides. Uh, there's some fantastic offers which are just on offer during the school summer term 19, uh, 2015, and there's some one-off bonuses uh, that will absolutely enthrall your students. So thank you very much for listening, and this will take, as I say, about 15 minutes. What I'd like to do is just to make it crystal clear exactly what happens during the CSI and Forensic Science Days in schools. The whole idea, as you can see, is to make sure that students get a really unique experience using forensic science in an applied setting. The experience can also be used cross-curricular, speaking and listening, data handling, history, art, and even PSHE. Particularly when you talk about crime, you can ask students uh, whether they think stealing, for instance, is right. But really, most importantly, our events show students how they can really achieve irrespective of ability. What is useful to look at now is exactly what uh, your students will do during a, uh, a whole day. It, I call it Super CSI because I don't think we've been into one school where children haven't taken full advantages and really enjoyed uh, what we've presented to them. Most importantly as well, we need you there for the day, obviously for safeguarding reasons and also just to make sure the students are happy. But what we will do with them is first of all, we will give them full CSI kit to wear and take home. And during a typical school day, we will be able to do most of the following that you can see here on this slide. They'll be taking their own fingerprints and then removing those fingerprints from a variety of services. And we also set up a lab area so they can analyze hair and fibers using uh, our microscopes, which are really nice digital microscopes. Again, good fun. Forensic dentistry, your students, without a doubt, are gonna get mucky because what we're gonna ask them to do is to cast teeth using dental alginate and make some really good models and compare those with some teeth marks that have been left at the crime scene, say in a cup or something. We get them to construct photo fits using FBI software and key stage two or above, uh, they do blood spatter pattern analysis and we can put in a huge amount of maths there without them realizing, particularly students that don't like maths, that they're actually doing maths. Ballistic examination, again, we use the uh, microscopes for them to uh, make sure that they can tell the difference between one bullet and another. And finally, uh, we do a mock trial complete with wigs and gowns, and I can assure you, your students will absolutely enjoy doing that. This is undoubtedly our most popular product. Just over 50 years ago, the Great Train Robbery was planned and executed in an extremely audacious fashion. We have completely recreated this event for students to investigate, but there's far more than just the forensic science, as you can see. What we basically do is we have a centerpiece that we bring in with us to schools, and that's got posters, it's got artifacts, the currency, everything for them to have a look at. And in fact, the robbers, when they carried this out, they went back to their hideout and they played Monopoly with real money. And we're going to show students what that money looked like. Once the forensic science has been done, there's a really, really good literacy input. We have a quiz where the students have to hunt through a copy of the Daily Express for information. Really, really good fun. And then we've designed a very simple, quick and easy to use writing frame where students can write the front page of a newspaper so that you're more... Uh, talented students can use a uh, word processor and uh, students can also write in their longhand, it's not a problem. Speaking and listening, we ask lots and lots of questions as we're going through. You can also extend this to PSHE and look at the morality of stealing. We're really passionate about numeracy in school and this is absolutely right with numeracy. Children that don't like it will be doing it anyway because it's actually embedded into the, uh, into the presentation itself. Ratio, examine ordnance, survey maps. In fact, uh, 
when the robbers actually carried out the offence, as they said, don't move for 30 minutes. So this made it very, very easy to the police to trace their hideout. So they took hold of a map, uh, drew a circle, started their search, and they found the hideout at a place called Leather Slave Farm. And I think what your children will really enjoy is going back 50 years, looking at the fashion, the music, and everything else. In fact, if you want to deliver this yourself, you will save a lot of money and we will still send you all of this for your students to enjoy. We've got uh, three offers for schools that are just on offer during the uh, summer school term only. Yeah. The first one, and this is probably the most cost effective way of running a session in your school, is where we come in and we use a large space. We need at least 60 students for this. Our normal price uh, is £20 a head, but we've reduced it for the summer term 2015 to just £17 per person. The difference between this and the hall option is that students get a more attention. Clearly they're going to get a lot of attention in the hall option, but here there's a more concentrated amount of students, 30 to 35 students, and uh, our instructor is able to really give them some good attention. It can be held in a classroom if it's, a, if it's in a science lab, even better. A normal cost for that for a single class is £1,000, but we do it uh, for just £900 per class. And of course, if you want multiple classes, then we'll look at uh, doing something on the price there. About six months ago, as I sat down and I looked at designing something that could be uh, delivered, particularly in schools, uh, on their own without there being a need for one of our instructors to come in and of course that saves a huge amount of money but at the same time what I wanted to do was to develop a really exciting pack. What Lurks Beneath has got three elements to it. It's got fingerprinting, everything to do with that, taking fingerprint, dusting for fingerprints, lifting them, all in a really good applied setting. You can put whatever scenario you like, we've suggested one. Uh, secondly, students look at the correlation between their fingerprints and their feet prints. Really good fun. Again, they're really going to get mucky. And finally, incorporated within the pack is quite an expensive digital microscope. And we've got a number of events that students can play around using that, playing around with the microscope. We've got some uh, fixed slides that they can have a look at. So the, the cost of this for the master pack is usually £186. And the one without the microscope for just the fingers and feet only is 108 but we've reduced those again for this summer term right the way down to 160 and 100 pounds respectively no matter what you're buying these days value for money is definitely the name of the game so if you buy our products this is what you will get and most of these bonus things you're going to see here are in relation to us actually attending your school and delivering an event. Bonus number one is that we have the opportunity now of selling FBI Photowitz software and it normally costs a school or an establishment about £400 uh, to buy a network system and if you book us we're giving that away to you completely and utterly free. Uh, secondly, uh, we've got a free data handling mod module which is differentiated to any key stage. You can look at averages, mean, median and mode, percentages, again using fingerprints. So students will really enjoy and appreciate the time uh, that you take if you're going to use this particular module. We give each student, and this is really a hallmark of what we've been doing for the last eight years, full CSI kit. That's a mask, one-piece bodysuit and gloves. Your students will absolutely love wearing these. These normally cost, if you were to go into uh, a DIY shop, you will see that this cost about five pounds per student. But again, we want to incorporate those absolutely free. Uh, this doesn't include self-delivery options, but there's the opportunity uh, to buy those at a very reduced price. The fourth bonus is if you ask us to, to deliver the great train robbery, we will set up a fantastic classroom display, either in the classroom or in any prominent part of the school, uh, with posters, a uh, Monopoly board that was actually used, and some other artefacts for your children to get a real handle on what was going on. Just briefly, I wanted to show you this fantastic FBI PhotoFit software. 
Uh, it's from a company called Faces ID and we work very, very closely with them. Students can do a number of things. They can do a memory test, they can produce a photo fit uh, of maybe a teacher, of themselves, and there is a number of activities they can do there. These are highly engaging uh, activities and you would find you could have your students uh, working on these for hours on end. But it's also particularly good. You can create some very, very good lesson plans around these. But guess what? I've created a lesson plan for you. I had the luxurious opportunity of when I retired from uh, the Metropolitan Police, I retrained as a secondary school mathematics teacher. And it was really, really good fun to bring different things into the classroom, and I'm sure you've all done that. Uh, I was able to bring fingerprints into, uh, into the classroom, so students had the, op the opportunity, kinesthetically, taking their own fingerprints and then classifying them, and then putting them into pie charts, displaying them in all sorts of different ways. So again, it's extremely meaningful. Uh, you can compare the distribution of fingerprints in a single classroom against the world norm. But again, great fun and uh, good for SATs and GCSE preparation. I really don't want you to take uh, my word for anything that I've told you so far. Well, yes, I do. But what you see on this page is some very, very up-to-date testimonials that have come from school teachers. First one from Sarah Matthews. You can see what she says there. Thank you for your resources for Science Week. My year three loved the forensic activities. And the next one is from a teacher called Sam Gibbons. You can see that there. He said, these are the best resources I've ever seen. They're great hands-on activities for my student. And you can see all those students there looking at some of the work they've done. Of course, all of our materials bode extremely well for um, classroom displays. Finally, thank you very much for listening to this presentation and seeing what we provide for schools. Uh, to book, please give me a ring on 01603 If you want your students to access these award-winning experiences, book an event this summer. If you want more information, and you can see this presentation again, uh, go to www.rightangleeducation.co.uk. Thank you very much for listening once again.